is yesterday I was waiting by the bus stop with my daughter, who Baruch Hashem is four years old, little kid, and we were waiting for my other daughter to come home from school. On the other side of the road, there was a bus from another school, or maybe from the same school, I don't know, that stopped. And when a bus stops, it puts out its stop sign and you have to stop. <laughs> That's the law. Anyway, so there's a whole bunch of people and they all stop and the, all these kids are getting off of the bus. Now coming from the other street was a big car and he was trying to like wedge his way in. He was trying to wedge his way in. He was, I, I guess maybe he didn't realize that the stop sign was up, whatever it was, being down the gas close. Anyways, he wedges his way in and the car that's right next to the bus sees, so he moves up a little bit to block the guy. Now this guy was not having it. All right, so he starts going up closer. Meanwhile, the other guy starts going up closer. And this is what we call road rage, the beginning of road rage. Now I'm standing there. I'm like, oh boy, <laughs> this is about to get ugly. And I'm, my daughter's behind me. And there's a bus full of children. And behind the bus, there was a city bus. So you have a bus full of Jews. Then you have a bus full of other people. And by the way, a Kiddush Hashem applies everywhere, with Jews and with non-Jews. A Kiddush Hashem, you represent the Kiddush Baruch Hu, So wherever you are, you have to be somebody who represents Hashem. Anyways, it literally starts getting ugly. I'm standing, I'm like, like, uh-oh, this is not going to be good. And the guy gets very upset, so he like sort of goes into the car to block him. Then the other guy tries to block him, and like before you know it, no one's moving. Because now these two cars are blocking everybody. Everybody's beeping, trying to get around. And meanwhile, they're giving them each other the eyes, and it got very, very vicious. Finally, one guy relents a little bit. He goes to the side. The other guy swerves in front of him. And now stops him a little bit further up. And it's back and forth. And it's uh, and everybody's watching this. And everyone's beeping. The city bus driver's beeping. This guy's beeping. The pickup truck behind them was beeping. And um, and yeah, it got very bad. And then one guy gets out of the car, starts saying things that nobody should hear. But I say it's in front of everybody. It's in front of everybody. It was for what? Because one guy thought that he uh, it was my right of way. And I should have. And this literally went on for... A long time. I'm just sitting there watching. I'm like hoping my daughter doesn't see this. And Rabbi said, two ambassadors. Now I'm saying this, Lateelis. If you're a Jewish person, what, what is road rage? What, what is road rage? Rage? We don't have rage. We have patience. We have Rachmanus. So relax and just let the guy go. If you see that somebody's being upset and doing things that he shouldn't be doing. So just wait, just let him go because you know he's not going to give in. There are certain people that when they look at you from their window, they look inside, you know that they're not going to let go of this. So just be the bigger person because what's the effect? You have two people, maybe or maybe not they were Jewish and everyone's watching them fight and curse each other. Because why? Because one guy moved up a little bit and they're just waiting there and everyone's beeping. It broke my heart. It literally broke my heart that, that we represent Hashem. We're all part of one nation. What's going on over here? What's going on? Rabbi said, we are part of such a beautiful, amazing nation. Now, I'm not judging anybody. I'm just giving an awareness to everybody. If you drive and somebody cuts you off, just let him cut you off. I'm not saying to let 40 people cut you off. Okay, use your seichel. But make sure that at any time, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, people will say, wow, that's a Jewish person. He's somebody who represents Hashem. That's somebody who could be a role model. As opposed to, oh my gosh, don't look. I hope that entire bus of children didn't see that or hear that. I hope the entire city bus didn't hear that. I hope I didn't hear that. Why should, why should I have to dunk my ears in a mikvah <laughs> after what I heard? For what? For what? Because I had the right of way. You guys are both stopping by the red light right there anyways. And if it's not that red light, it will be the next red light. And, and what are you rushing for? To get home to check your phone? To what? To check up people's statuses? Now again, I'm not saying this always applies that a person that shouldn't rush. If a person has to rush, you got to go. If somebody's giving birth in the car, you got to hurry up. Somebody has to go to the hospital. Okay, there are times that you have to rush. But two more minutes is not going to change anything. Even when you speed on a highway, even when you go through red lights because you're in a rush, what are you gaining? What, 10 minutes? 7 minutes? What's your screen time? So you have a tzad to kill somebody because you're going so fast or you're driving crazy. It's not worth it, Rabbi. It's not worth it. Even if you were somebody who was very important, it's still not worth it. And if you have to, start earlier, because you know how it is. You know how the red light, so you know how long it takes to so go a little bit earlier. 